Who are you? Caliuchis. Caliuchis, welcome to South by Southwest, Austin, Texas. Thank you. Right off the bat, Cali, I have a gift for you. Really? Thank you. And it goes to DC to your friends in the black... Birds. The, the black birds. Oh my God. You can tell the people the black birds. Um, they're an amazing band from the 60s. And you sample them for On Edge with Snoop. That was actually, Snoop Dogg provided that instrumental, but I love the black birds anyway. And you're from DC too. I actually had no idea they were from DC. That's you rep DC. Can I say you're from DC or Virginia? I'm actually from Virginia and Colombia, but I'm like right outside of DC, like five minutes. Pretty close though. So it's kind of like your hometown band. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I had no idea they were from DC. Kelly, what are some hints for sleeping in a car? <laughs> um, <laughs> blankets, uh, a lot of blankets and like putting them over your face so that no one sees you. <laughs> How long were you sleeping in a car? That's probably like a month or two. Um, I would only sleep in my car whenever like I couldn't stay at my friend's house because like I didn't want to impose on nobody. But um, yeah, Harris Teeter parking lot is 24 hours. What's so great is looking through your music, Kali, you encounter all these great people like Astrid. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh my God. Like Astrid? Gilberto. What can you tell the people about Astrid, girl from Ipanema? Um, her voice is like so soothing and she just, literally every song she makes, you can listen to every album by her and it's just like you're in heaven listening to it. And I have a special gift for you right now, another Astrid LP right here. My favorite. Oh my God, that's so pretty. What makes it really good? Like, why'd you like Astrid right here? She's amazing. It's like she doesn't need to, like, hit notes or really, like, you don't even really need to understand what she's saying to just, like, let the music really carry you. And it's just so sweet and melodic and, like, heavenly almost. Like, I like singers like that, like, Calice and Astrid Gilberto and, like, singers that's, like, they couldn't really, like, they didn't have to, like, flex their vocals. They just kind of, like... It was just cool, you know what I mean? She's amazing. Another influence here, Delegation. This was my very first video that I ever put out. Um, oh, honey. Yeah, what they, yeah. Oh yeah, the Delegation was so fun. I sampled them twice, actually. Yeah, for one for Lottery, and then the other one for a song called Never Be Yours, so. How did you discover them? Um, Delegation, I mean, they just have like so many like, they're in common with so many other records that I like that it just like, you know when you just kind of like fall into the place with everything else? Back to Colombia, my friend Joe is working on a movie called Come Together about Colombian graffiti, and he was in Cartagena, and he was shook down by the cops, and he had to pay them 50 mil. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> so how did he do having to pay 50 mil? Did he pay it? Yes. Oh, he probably got away. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, how did he do? Was that a good price to pay? Um, I don't know. It really depends. Like, yeah, they usually try to stop me when they see me in a car, my family, because like I look, because I'm light skinned, they probably think that I have money. So, um, yeah, they try to give you trouble if they see that you're foreign and stuff and kind of like, oh, like, yeah, you can leave or whatever if you pay us. But well, how would Joe get out of it? Like, how did he do? How would he get out of it? Like, suddenly he's got to pay. You just got to pay. How do you get out of it? He gets shook down by the cops. You just pay or I mean, usually, I mean, I never pay because my dad usually, I mean, obviously, like, we're fluent, and you can tell once you start talking to us that we're not, like, he's not, like, that American, so you usually just have to, like, argue or, like, be with someone that's, like, from the area and that knows that they can really, like, argue, and, like, you don't actually really have to pay. They just want you to think that you have to pay. But speaking of graffiti, didn't some gangs tag your house and threaten you as well with kidnapping? Yeah, when I was really little. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty scary. Like, it's not only in the car, it's like you wake up and there's graph. Can you explain a bit about that, Callie? Well, it was like I was always, I always kind of like stood out. And um, so people would notice me a lot when we were like walking down the street or leaving school or whatever. And um, yeah, one day I came home and it was just like, it was like, go to America, gringos, da 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 da. And I was just like, what? I'm not. <laughs> so it's just like I don't know it's scary but at the same time it's like you gotta understand it's something that's been happening in the country since like the 60s and like thankfully now it's like it's progressed so much like now we have like so much more peaceful people and the government is like really like locking in on it and um, it's getting under control more now but back then it was just like a lot more it was a lot more scary like you never knew what was gonna happen or um, you never knew like who you could trust or like even family members you never knew like who was going to turn on you or set you up so it was like overwhelming. Now there's like a cool graffiti scene in like Bogota like DJ Lou do you know any like graffiti stuff that's happening a lot of Mohawk stuff? Yeah Bogota is so huge on graffiti like it's, like, it's amazing like that that's it's good that you touched on that have you ever been there? No. Yeah. It's my friend Joe. 
Yeah, literally everywhere you go, it's gonna be graffiti, but like good, like murals and like really good work. Like it's really art. It's like Mohawk dudes and stuff, really interesting. Oh my gosh, yeah, like the mullet has been a thing in Colombia since literally forever. I don't know, like that's a trend that never went away. Like everyone has mullets and Mohawks. Like, everyone from like the little kids to like the old men, it's like literally everyone has that. <laughs> Kelly Uchis, how many exorcisms have you witnessed? <laughs> I mean, uh, probably only like one, two, maybe. <laughs> you know a lot about witches and doves' blood, don't you? No, not really. I don't know that much about it. <laughs> what do you say about the exorcisms and the witches' blood? There's some stuff you must know for us people that don't know about it. I mean, well, like in Colombia, it's like a lot more. Um, it's more normal to just be like, not necessarily. It's not like Santeria or anything. It's not like devil stuff. It's just more. Um, protecting yourself, protecting your home, and kind of like trying to like bring good energies into you and stuff like that. Um, my grandma and my cousins are like more into that. Um, I don't practice it so much, but um, I did used to like see certain stuff that was kind of weird. <laughs> can you tell somebody that actually does practice it, like exorcism, do I look like somebody that could do exorcism? I mean, can you tell? <laughs> it could be anyone. I mean, it could be anybody. You just, it's like my grandma was in a tribe, so they would just, like, if there was someone that seemed like they were, like, coming down with something funky or whatever, like, they would take care of it. But, um, yeah, and then my cousins, like, usually it's, like, it was custom for, like, her to, like, bring someone by the house every once in a while to, like, kind of, like, make sure that things were, like, going well in her life or whatever. Um, or like if someone, like a lot of times people get envious and they'll put like curses on you and you have to like get them, you have to like get it lifted off of you and kind of like take that off of you. So it's just about protecting yourself. Where did you learn to dance? Um, in my school, it's called Chiquitines Felices. When I was in Colombia, like I was in like a little like salsa program. So um, we used to dance and stuff in there, but that was just kind of like a main, like you had to do that. It was like, like a, almost like, same as like they kind of like teach you English also while you're there. But um, yeah, that was when I was really little. Besides that, I just kind of like freestyle. I just kind of like play around. Because I saw that Vine of you were like, she slid it in like that. <laughs> yeah. What dance was that? That was just Christmas. We were just playing around like bachata, cumbia, and just like having fun. You know, when you're just like cooped up on Christmas. Kelly Uchis, I know indirectly you're a fan of the band The Shitbirds. The Shitbirds? Am I? Yes, you're a fan of The Shitbirds. How am I a fan of them? I will show you right now. Here is a gift relating to the shitbirds right here, lastly, to Kali Uchis and April March LP. Oh my god, yay, April March. Oh, so her band is called the shitbirds. Her band before was called the shitbirds, and then she went solo with April March. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've heard anything from the shitbirds. It's really great stuff, and on this record, Jonathan Richmond's on it, and Andy Paley as well. Oh, wow. She's a great singer, isn't she, April March? She is, yeah. Her songs are like so... I actually got familiar with her because of Quentin Tarantino. And then I just became a fan instantly. I became addicted to her. Like, everything she does is so cohesive. It's, just, it's sick. How about for what you're wearing today, Callie? Where did you get what you're wearing today? I'm just curious. Um, I got this from the Salvation, actually. Yeah. $20? How much was this? I don't think it was even ten, $20. I think it was like 10 something like that. Maybe. How long do you think it had been there? Like, were you lucky to get it? Like, was it just, like, new to the racks? Like, what are the tips for getting this stuff? Because sometimes you get to a place, you're like, oh, man, I, w I don't want to get up early. Or do you do the thing where, like, you sleep in the parking lot because you're good at sleeping in cars, and then you wake up at the thrift store? Have you ever done that? Oh, you got jokes. Okay. No. Uh, actually, I usually go on Wednesdays because it's 25% off, and then it was just kind of like there. I was surprised because it's, like, really new. I was surprised no one picked it up, but... Not a lot of people go there for fashion. Like, mostly people go there because they're actually, like, broke shit. So, um, nobody was really into it. They were mostly, like, getting, like, shit for the kids and stuff, you know? So, Wednesdays is the key, eh? Yeah. The secret you reveal. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> yep, Wednesdays. Kelly Uchis, anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Um, I want to say hi to my Theo Jaime since we mentioned you earlier and I didn't give you a shout out. And I want to say hi to my dad. Hey, dad. And hi, Tia Kiol. And I want to say thank you, Barack Obama, for leading the country. And I want to say thank you to my mama for giving birth to me. And I want to say, um, I want to say thank you, Nardwar, for having me on the show. And I'm a huge fan of your work. You're amazing. So creative. You're a genius. And I want to say um, thank you to um, the bees for pollinating the flowers. And um, 
I also want to say that um, these gifts were really great. I have a record player, but I don't have that many vinyls. So now I have a lot of vinyls to play in my house. My house is really empty, so I like no music. So now I have music. So that was really nice. And um, I want to say sorry to my, to my um, abuelita for like revealing her exorcism secrets. She's not going to be happy about it. And <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, thanks so much, Callie. Keep on rocking in the free world. And do 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 What's up, Brill? What's up, Claire? Oh, thanks to my manager. I forgot to say thank you, Claire. I love you. She's like a mother to me. She was like a mother to me. All right, y'all.